Spartanburg City leaders took a step towards breaking the cycle of poverty and homelessness in our community today. The city held their first ever homeless court at the Spartanburg Soup Kitchen and our Stephanie Borman was there for that inaugural session. Stephanie. Gordon, homeless court is the only of its kind in the upstate. Judge Erica McGimsey first presented the idea after seeing a rise in misdemeanor cases that's trapping people into poverty. She says in most cases, those individuals are homeless and their charges are keeping them from getting jobs, which in turn prevents them from turning their situation around. Valencia Williams sat next to her attorney who took her case pro bono. She says earlier this year a tragedy flipped her life upside down. My mother died in March. Williams felt lost. And I just quit work and just didn't want to do anything and running around and sleeping in my car. With no income, the longtime certified nursing assistant turned to shoplifting. When she was charged, she felt helpless. That was until her court date when a judge told her about homeless court. So it was a life changing moment for me. Williams pled her case during the inaugural homeless court held at the Spartanburg Soup Kitchen on Wednesday, a program spearheaded by Spartanburg Judge Erica McGimsey. I didn't know what to expect, uh, so I'm really excited to see the level of support that's here today. The alternative court is for homeless individuals charged with misdemeanor offenses. To participate, people must prove they are in treatment programs to improve their lifestyle. And if they do, we can go and reopen their pending cases and dismiss those pending cases, but we can also go and reopen old cases and clean those up too. A judge will review individual cases and decide whether to reduce, dismiss, or expunge charges. That opens doors because oftentimes people are barred from employment based on their criminal history. Shoplifting charges are keeping Williams from getting a second job, money she needs to pay bills and find permanent housing. With a clean record, Williams has big plans for the new year. I'm going to be a nurse <laughs> and I'm going to have a part-time job. Yeah, uh, 2020 is going to be my year. Williams' case was one of two heard today. Judge McJimsey plans to hold homeless court on the third Wednesday of every month at the Spartanburg Soup Kitchen. Gordon? All right, Stephanie, thank you for that. Misdemeanor crimes that will be considered include shoplifting, disorderly conduct, trespassing, public intoxication, and they have to have been committed, of course, where there's jurisdiction within the Spartanburg city limits.